What's up guys? Thanks for joining me for some more Pokemon VGC 2016 Road to Regionals. Now, in the previous episode, we had a lot of unfortunate disconnects, so right here in a second you're actually going to see I probably will be 2 and 2, which I am expecting to be because I had two disconnects during the battles which I had no uh, control over, but I should be 2 and 0, oh. and furthermore, if I didn't dis get, get dis disconnected from those battles, I probably would be 4 and 0. Oh. So, that is unfortunate, but yeah, we're going to be 2-2, two and two, sitting at a ranking of 1499, I do not like that, because we should definitely be around the area of 1530 after those battles. But two unfortunate disconnects, we have no control over that, we're going to see who we can find in today's matchup, I'll be doing a video right after this one, because the copyright strike still is in effect, and we are going to be playing a player from Georgia United States with 1541 ranking, It'd be nice if we can win this battle, oh he has a Bisharp, I was not being prepared for the Bisharp whatsoever, <laughs> oh man. See now, uh, in my Massachusetts Regionals team, I EV'd my Charizard Speed EVs um, to outspeed a Adamant Max uh, Attack Max Speed Bisharp. Now, I did not invest that many Speed EVs into the Charizard, so uh, I'm not going to be able to outspeed the Bisharp. But he may not even bring the Bisharp, considering the fact that I do have the Charizard and the Heatran. But there's a good chance that he may, because I do have the Scrafty and the Landorus, and he would just uh, be picking up that competitive boost. Not competitive boost, but uh, Defiant boost so well. Um, but he does have the Salamence, he has the Bisharp, the Azumarill, the uh, Amoongus, the Rodom Heat, and the Mamoswine. So, we gotta start picking, see who he would like to lead right here. And uh, just right off the bat, uh, I would only imagine that the... Um, uh, the, uh, I'm sorry, the Salamence and the Bisharp lead would probably be good because he probably would assume that I would not lead with either my Landorus or my Scrafty. Um, but I'm kind of thinking that, uh, Charizard and Heatran is a pretty, pretty good lead right here, even though that, that, that Rodom Heat is, um, he's causing a lot of problems for my team. Rodom Heat is causing an incredible amount of... He's just a big headache! He's a big headache for my team right now. Uh, but I have no choice other than to lead with the Charizard Heatran. Uh, the Charizard Heatran, oh man. I don't know. Let's go with the Charizard Heatran. I can go with the... Yeah, I'm gonna go with the Sylveon and Landorus in the back. Landorus so I don't throw him out uh, immediately. Um... Just so that I don't give that Bisharp its uh, boost and attack, which is really going to hurt me. And uh, I already am seeing that I am... Yep, he's going to leave with the Bisharp. I'm already seeing that I'm in, I'm pretty weak against the um, the Salamence. The Salamence and Rodom Heat Core is pretty good because uh, Rodom Heat pretty much walls uh, Sylveon. And uh, I'm really, really, really um, concerned about that Rodom Heat in the back because uh, it's causing a lot of problems for my team. But the Mamoswine, probably either Bandit or Scarfed, is probably going to go for a Rock Slide, which makes all the sense in the world. Um, I could get the Sun up, I could go for the Heat Wave, but then yet again, the Mamoswine could predict my, uh, protect from my Charizard, and uh, just, just go for the double down onto the Heat Tran with the Bisharp and the Mamoswine. Um, right now, I'm in uh, quite a predicament because uh, the Bisharp could go for the knockoff, and then the Mamoswine can go for the... Huh. I'm going to Mega Evolve Protect, and I'm going to go for the Heat Wave. Now, this is going to do a lot of damage to this Bisharp. It might be... Um, Focus Sash Bisharp, we are going to have to see that. Either Life Orb uh, or the um, Focus Sash might be the Life Orb variant because the Focus Sash might be on the Mamoswine. Uh, we're going to have to go ahead and see. I'm, I Mega Evolve Protect with my Charizard. I want to see whether or not he wants to go for the Rock Slide. Bisharp's going to a Protect. We might see the uh, Earthquake coming out from this Mamoswine. He's going to go for the Earthquake. I am really regretting not attacking with my Charizard. I do have the Shooka Berry on my Heat Trance, so this probably will bring me down to at least 30% health. 
Wow, that does a lot of damage. A lot, a lot, a lot of damage. This is a sun boosted heat wave, but then yet again, this is most likely a sashed mammoth swine. Well, it's not even. It's not even KOing it. That's. Should have went for the overheat instead. The overheat would have been a better option. Uh, now. Now, he does not know that. I still don't even know whether or not this Mammoth Swine had the Focus Ash. Now, if I could at least confirm that he had the Focus Ash, then I would at least know that the Bisharp would not have the Focus Ash. But that uh, Earthquake did an incredible amount of damage, so he could very well be Choice um, Banded. Uh, there's so many options that could be going on right here, because that should have not done as much damage as it did with the Shuka Berry. Uh, but I did have the Shuka Berry on there. I'm going to go ahead and go for my own Heat Wave right here, and protect with my Heat Tran. It is very predictable that I'm going to protect with my Heat Tran, so let's see what he does. He might go for the Double Down into the Charizard, probably a Rock Slide option. He is going to go for the Sucker Punch. Okay, so this should not... Yep. And the Icicle Crash. So, uh, man, he is playing very, very well. He's playing very, very well, well right now. So hopefully that does not KO. Oh my god, and he gets the flinch. So that's probably going to be game. That's probably good. This is a very, very um, fast decision from this game. Um, <laughs> he's, he's, he's playing around the Protects incredibly well. Uh, knowing that I'm going to protect with my Heatran, not even targeting the Heatran, double downing on the Charizard. So I should have just attacked with the Heatran. I stop, got to stop playing so conservatively. Um, I just, right from the team preview, that I knew that I was going to be incredibly weak to his team, especially with the Bisharp and the um, Rodom Heat. <sighs> Don't really have anything that can combat the Rodom Heat, and uh, I just really was too afraid to lead with the Landorus. So, uh, yeah. And obviously, I'm slower with my Charizard. So, um, see who we can go with here. I, I just probably gonna have to sack both of my Pokemon. I can't really do anything about it from, you know, this point on. So, I'm gonna have to sack both of my Pokemon. Both of my Pokemon are most likely gonna be slow. Uh, let's see what he does. He's probably gonna go for the Earthquake. If he goes for the Earthquake, uh, he's gonna go for the Earthquake. So, I'm gonna get a Heat Wave off from the Charizard. Probably predicting Charizard go for another Protect. I have no reason to. I have to attack at this point. So I'm going to hopefully connect with this Heat Wave, get the Mammoth Swine out of the way, and the Charizard's going to stay around for one more turn. Get the Heat Wave off into the Mammoth Swine. At least the Mammoth Swine's going to be out of here, but he is probably come, going to come in with the Mance. Um, and unfortunately, the Bisharp's still on the field, so... Uh, Lando, Lando, Lando. And he's most likely... Yeah, if I bring the Sylveon in, he's going to Iron Head the Sylveon. The Mance is going to be faster than my Charizard. He probably knows that. I can just go for the straight-up Hyper Voice. Hmm. And I don't even think... I this He does not have Life Orb, so he's probably... I can't take an Iron Head Hyper Voice with my Sylveon. I cannot do that. I know that for a fact. I'm going to have to bring in the Landris. I am going to have to bring in the Landris. He cannot protect on the next turn, but I know I'm going to be still slower with the Landorus. And that's even worse. That's even worse to see right here. He's probably going to go for the Sucker Punch onto the Charizard. Uh, or does he predict me protecting with my Charizard? He got the boost. Ah, uh, man, this is really, really tough. So let's think Let's think this through for a second. Does he predict me um, going for the Protect on my Charizard? Not even Sucker Punching in that slot. Just going for a Thunderbolt on the Charizard with the Rotom. Still don't even know whether or not the Rotom is faster than my Charizard. It should not be. But then yet again, I really cannot attack. Oh, man. Oh man, I should have brought it in my Sylveon, expecting the Iron Head onto that slot, protect it, and then switched out my Charizard into my Thunderous. That would have been a better option, but yet again, I did not know he was going to come out with his Rotom Heat. I could go for the Rock Slide and uh, Fish for Flinches. I could go for that option, but then yet again, that's risky. I don't really like to rely on luck, but unfortunately, that's exactly what I am going to have to go for. Uh, most likely Focus Sash Bisharp here, no Life Orb option on him, so let's go ahead and fish for this. Uh, rocks, I do not like to do this. Um, hopefully Landorus can hang on here. Landorus hangs on, wow, this is a fast-ass Rotom. That is a fast Rotom. Oh, it's most likely going to be game. <laughs> 
Just uh, opponent out predicting me. Uh, that is a life orb. So we might see. That's a fast Rotom. I mean, granted, Focus Ash. Granted, uh, my Charizard isn't the fastest Charizard, but uh, I do have uh, some EVs uh, invested in speed. So there is no reason why that Rotom should have outspeeded my Charizard, unless that Rotom has considerable amount of speed EVs and most likely not, you know, maybe maybe it's maxed, I don't know. Max special attack, max special like, speed, because he did not take the heat wave very well. So, there is another... He's probably anticipating me going for the all-out attack. With my Charizard, he knows that he is faster with his Rotom, so that's a problem. That's a huge problem. He's faster than my Charizard with his Rotom, so he could just Thunderbolt that slot and then go for the Iron Head onto the Sylveon. Hmm. Iron Head's going to... Let's do this. Ugh, let's do this. Um... Uh, I'm going to protect with my Sylveon. Bisharp's going to protect... Ah, uh, does he go for my... No, he's going to go for the Charizard. Ah, uh, what am I doing? I could have just went for a goddamn Shadow Ball onto the... What am I doing? Yep, well, the, I mean, we learn from this. We learn from these videos, so we fortunately can't do anything about that. I knew he was going to go for the Thunderbolt. I should have never protected it with my Sylveon. She just went for the Shadow Ball. And I would have knocked the Rotom out because I have a Life Orb of my own. He is just going to go for an Iron Head and then go for possibly an Overheat. That's going to be game because I would not be able to survive either one of them. So, good game to my opponent. Can't really do anything about that. Let's just go for a Latch diff Ditch Effort um, Hyper Voice. Let's see what we can do against this Rotom, which potentially doesn't have any special defense. Investment and see if we can survive this. But we're definitely not surviving an Iron Head. Definitely not surviving a plus one iron head <laughs> well plus two iron head not plus one because i still got the intimidate off yep and that's gonna be game can't do anything about that it's an unfortunate loss we played absolutely horrible in that game uh getting out predicted by the opponent he's predicted um protects at the butt i should attacked when i should have attacked and uh again you know i still am not comfortable with this team and uh those are the plays that I'm gonna have to start making. Stop playing. Stop playing so conservatively. Should have definitely not protected with my Sylveon. Should have went for the Hyper Voice. The Hyper Voice had the potential to knock out the um, uh, Rotom. I knew he was gonna go for the Thunderbolt into the Charizard. Uh, that was a good protect on his part with the um, Bisharp to not lose it to a Hyper Voice that potentially could have been coming out from the Sylveon. Um, but I should have just went for the. Um, Shadow Ball, but regardless, that was probably looking like a loss because he added Pokemon in the back, potentially his Mega Salamence. So, uh, that's going to be it for today's episode, guys. Well, not today's episode, we're going to do one more after this, and I have to split them in two because of the copyright strike, but uh, please leave suggestions down below what I can actually do better in these videos. I do like suggestions, but uh, also just I'm um, learning how to play with this team, and there's also things that I can adjust as well. So, guys, uh, I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Peace.